Hi, this is Story Tweety Eights, and today we're going to be talking about open source and commercial in the context of vulnerability scanning. So um, we'll use vulnerability scanning as a case study, taking uh, two specific solutions. Um, but the overall goal here is really to help you in your decisions to just to go either way, right? To, to go with open source or to go with a, a commercial solution for, for your specific needs. Um, so with that, let's talk about how we're going to uh, help demonstrate this. So um, we've got two solutions. We have Aqua Trivi, which is a vulnerability scanner, also includes infrastructure as code capabilities. And Trivi has more than 3000 stars on GitHub. It's the most popular cloud native security vulnerability scanner available today on the market. Um, it's used as a default by GitLab, Harbor, and more. Um, so it's a popular, popular open source tool um, and more like a DevOps tool, right? Um, on the, the uh, commercial side, we have Aqua Security. So they have the Aqua platform. Aqua owns Trivi, and it's a commercial scanner, I would say, that uh, forms a key part of a larger platform. So other capabilities, other solutions as part of the same cloud and uh, security platform. And again, because the point of all of this really is uh, decision points, uh, figuring out what are the decision points for your own decision moving forward that, that makes sense to keep, into, uh, keep in mind. And really the key points are the ones that have a personal impact for you and your team. Um, there's no right or wrong. Uh, what you'll see is that the decision can flip back and forth. There are very established companies using open source. There's established companies using commercial. Um, and there are students using commercial as well. So, I mean, it, go, it goes both ways. Um, but the things to keep in mind and the things you want to make a plan for um, are some of the following. So thinking about whether a solution will fit with your longer term needs, right? You need X right now, or vulnerability scanning now, what will you need in the future that's part of uh, your roadmap? Um, how fit to purpose do you need it? Do you just need one capability? Do you need three capabilities? Uh, for example, do you need vulnerability uh, scanning and do you need infrastructure as code scanning? Or do you need vulnerability scanning and malware scanning, right? So how fit to purpose uh, would the solution be? Um, management overhead. So this means different things to different people. Is money more important than time in your particular organization? Um, that will look different from open source to commercial. And this is probably one of the more, um, the decision points that's nearly guaranteed to be similar across every open source to commercial spectrum. And that open source is less on price, more on time. Commercial is the opposite, more on price, less on time. So you don't have to spend as much time using it. Other things to keep in mind, so vendor guarantees, right? Uh, and, and here comes in the purpose of the application to begin with. Do you need SLAs? Do you need support? Uh, what kind of support do you need around education uh, of a team? Um, and then how much do you wanna get into efficacy, accuracy, best in breed? Sometimes, not always, but sometimes there are differences on the open source and commercial sides uh, between, uh, yeah, in terms of best in breed, accuracy, et cetera. Um, and then I would say that the first one here as well as last, time to value. Generally open source, you get up and running much, much quicker. Um, and so something to, to keep in mind. So um, what we're talking about today in the case uh, study of Aqua and Trivi, Aqua Trivi is vulnerability scanning. So how we apply some of these decision factors to vulnerability scanning is uh, as such. So when we're talking about time to value, can you integrate the scanning solution into the CI CD pipeline? Are there integrations with the integrated developer environment? Um, in terms of longer term needs, there are a lot of ancillary capabilities in the vulnerability scanning space because when you're scanning for vulnerabilities, you're scanning applications and application security is quite of a, a broad space. So, uh, and then you have the cloud native element as well, which is um, also varied. So CSPM, for example, scanning uh, the different uh, configurations of your cloud service accounts uh, and making sure that there are no misconfigurations there that could expose your application to attack. And runtime protection. So 
If you're scanning in the build, are you also protecting and having other gates in runtime to stop something that's gotten through and where there might be an attack in progress? In terms of management overhead and vulnerability scanning, um, this could potentially be a list that applies to maybe other types of security, but um, how you manage multiple tools across teams when it comes to vulnerability management. Um, how do you take your remediation results and actually feed that back into the process to get a bit of a circular uh, motion going and making sure that you're continually improving? Um, how many nodes, clusters, images, registries you need to uh, be protecting and you need to be looking over, um, that obviously has an impact with management overhead. And then vulnerability management itself, the overall holistic process, um, even amongst people and teams. Um, so if you have then uh, vulnerabilities scanning, you're, vul you're scanning uh, business critical applications uh, and you maybe need certain commercial terms. That's also something where vendor guarantees will come into play. Uh, some open source solutions don't have uh, the same commercial terms as a commercial solution would. Uh, and that's not something that's often brought up, but it's very true. Um, and then lastly, in terms of vulnerability scanning, uh, best in breed, for example, uh, with infrastructure as code, um, that's, so I will say here, when we talk about decision points, they're not mutually exclusive. So. We were talking before about fitting with longer term needs, fitting to purpose. That also has to do with best in breed efficacy, accuracy. Um, so they're not mutually exclusive um, by any means. But um, let's say you're looking for um, uh, malware protection, uh, protection from supply chain attacks uh, as well.